Finally, I'm back. For those of you who didn't see my last video, my family and I went on vacation to Disney World in Orlando, Florida. It wasn't just any vacation though, it was something special for my 5 year old daughter Ellie. So she has a disability called spina bifida myelomeningocele, and it requires constant medical attention, including over 10 surgeries so far, and last year in particular was rough. She had to have three major operations, and as such, we rewarded her with a vacation. But as I said, it wasn't just any vacation. We got approved for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Now I realize some of you may not be familiar with this program. So basically, this foundation grants wishes to children with life-threatening medical conditions. The child in question can ask for almost anything they want. For example, one kid asked for a huge playground in his backyard, and someone else asked to meet a famous actor. One kid even asked for a hot tub. The most common wish, however, is exactly what my daughter chose, Disney World. I know most of you are subscribed to me for my Call of Duty content, but I really wanted to share our experiences with everyone. It was truly a once in a lifetime opportunity. So to begin with, they sent a stretch limo to our house to pick us up and take us to the airport. And personally, I had never been in a limo before, so it was pretty fun. My kids got a kick out of it as well. Jackers. Hi. Are you excited? This is pretty cool. This is so awesome. Look, it turned to purple and pink. Whoa. Yellow. Have you ever been in a limo before, Ellie? No. <laughs> Nolan, show me what you got over there. And it's blue. Yep, I see. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> that part's a little inappropriate. Is <laughs> the phone back here? Yeah. I'm going to go see what's over by that. There's this still. Cool. The only bad thing about the entire trip was the airport. When you go through the searching and the screenings, it's pretty painful to begin with. If you add three kids to the mix, it's downright horrific. So then came the flying part. I hate heights and I hate airplanes. I've flown a few times before, including to Ireland and England, so it's not like I haven't been on flights before. And this one was only two and a half hours, but I hated it. My kids on the other hand, well, they loved it. So once we landed in Orlando, Florida, a Make-A-Wish greeter was there to help us instantly. And then we got to pick our own rental car. They had an amazing selection and we could choose anything we wanted. They even had sports cars like Corvettes. Of course, since there's five of us, we had to get a minivan. <laughs> Not so cool, but it was still nice. The place we stayed was called Give Kids the World, and rightfully so. This place was basically heaven on earth. Anything you could want as a kid was here. Remember, Make-A-Wish is for a lot of terminally ill kids, so they want to make it a magical experience. So first, let me show you a little walkthrough of the house we got to stay at. This is our Make-A-Wish Give Kids the World house. First of all, we got this sweet rental car. Ellie, let me see your shirt. Say hi. Oh, she is in a sour mood. She wants to go swimming, but Dad wants to record a video first. Nolan, say hi. hi. He's chasing lizards. I have lizards up north. Hi, right, Mom. She's probably mad I'm not. Jack, hi! You wanna come show me the house? Ellie? Yeah. Man, this place is way better than any hotel. It's like a little house. Sweet stove. As fast as can be. It's got a nice little living room. They give us all kinds of gifts for Ellie. Now they make the kids' room special, since it is for Ellie, not necessarily for us. This is the kids' bedroom. I got this huge bathroom. Look at this. This is bigger than my bathroom at home. And this is huge. Oh, someone threw Mickey Mouse in there. Whoops. Pretty sweet. Everything in this village looked like it was straight out of a Dr. Seuss book. There were vibrant colors, creative designs. It was pretty bizarre. 
They told us before we came that some people don't even leave the village to go to the theme parks, and now I can see why. Let me just list you a few of the things this place had. So of course, they had a pool, and it was massive. Not only this, but it was heated, so we got to swim any time of the day, including at night, without freezing to death. They fed you three times a day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And the meals were all supplied by certain restaurants. If you're from America, some of the places included Papa John's and Perkins, as well as some of the local places. Needless to say, it was great. What's more, though, is that you could get delivery whenever you wanted. For example, at 9.45 p.m. one night, we ordered pizza, and they deliver it straight to your villa. I can't remember if I said this yet, but everything in the entire village is free. There's no payment necessary for anything. And speaking of which, hands down, my kids loved the desserts. They had a place called the Ice Cream Palace that was open almost all day long, including for breakfast, where you could get as much ice cream as you wanted. At the pool, there was also a little place that offered ice cream. It was crazy. They actually encouraged you to eat ice cream for breakfast every day, which the kids loved. If I had to guess, and this is no exaggeration, between the five of us, we probably had over 250 ice cream cones during our seven day stay. Not only this, they had a little cart that roamed the entire village that served cookies, milk, and lemonade. I kid you not. Each and every day, the village had activities for the kids to do. For example, one night Santa Claus came and all the kids got to pick out a present. Another night was the mayor's surprise birthday party with all kinds of circus-like games. Also, each morning the mayor would come and place a special gift inside your villa for each kid, which I thought was pretty cool. The village also had a lot of fun things to do, such as a huge miniature golf course. It was dinosaur themed, and after you got the ball in the hole, a special event would happen. My two-year-old usually got scared to death from each of these, which my wife and I thought was pretty humorous. Come on, Mom, get it in. Knock at it again, let's see. Wow. I didn't even see him hiding back there, did you, Jack? Yeah, I just Is that scary? Uh huh. My personal favorite, though, was the arcade. They had old video game machines, Xboxes, Wii's, a giant iPad on the wall, all sorts of things. Again, it was all free. I've never been to an arcade that didn't require quarters to play the games, so naturally I was in heaven. Check this fishing game out. Did you catch something, Nolan? You got a squid? Get him. over here so you control the boat Let's see where's the guy oh he's number one over there see look I'm controlling him it's pretty sweet Ellie what are you what are you singing over there Al they also had lots of playgrounds, a full-sized game of Candyland that you could play, trains to ride, a merry-go-round, and a full-size movie theater, not to mention Disney characters that would come and visit the village. You definitely could just stay in the village the entire trip and still have a blast. But it didn't end there. Make-A-Wish provided us with free tickets to all the major theme parks. Of course, we only had seven days, and there are way more than seven parks to pick from, so we had to make some tough choices. In the end, we decided on the Animal Kingdom, the Magic Kingdom, SeaWorld, Universal Studios, and Medieval Times. Not only did we get free parking and free admission to all the parks, but the entire family had special Make-A-Wish buttons that instantly put you to the front of all the rides or character meet and greets. And to be honest, I actually felt bad using these, as there were some people standing in lines for over an hour, and we just got escorted straight to the front. I saw a few people quite upset about this, but once they saw the Make-A-Wish buttons, their scowls turned to smiles. In Animal Kingdom, we did a safari ride that put us so close to the animals we could actually touch them. I've never been so close to wild animals before. My wife's favorite part was SeaWorld. 
mostly because she's in love with the killer whales. She said her dream job as a child was to be a trainer at SeaWorld. So needless to say, she was in heaven when we went to the killer whale show. And again, they escorted us straight to the very front of the show. We were just a few feet from these massive whales. We also got to feed some of the smaller sharks and stingrays, which was pretty disgusting but amusing for the kids. My two-year-old's favorite part were the dolphins and the sea turtles. You like those, Jack? What do you think, Al? Ah, okay. Don't touch the lens. Tell me what we got in there. Oh, look how big that turtle is. Ellie? Right there. My gosh. 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 Look at that. Ellie's favorite park was Disney's Magic Kingdom, and this was because she got to meet every princess you could think of. All we had to do was go to the exit of these character meet and greets, and then the people would notice our make-a-wish buttons and instantly let us go see them. And most people only get a few seconds with each character, but these princesses all made special exceptions for Ellie, chatting with her and showering her with hugs. A specific part of her wish included getting a full princess makeover. She got to pick which princess she wanted to dress as. She chose Princess Jasmine from Aladdin. They did her hair, her nails, they put on some fancy makeup, and then she got to parade around the entire Magic Kingdom dressed as a princess. There weren't many negatives to the trip, but if I had to list one, it was the height restrictions for some of the rides. Oftentimes, my oldest son would be the only one tall enough to ride. Try convincing a five-year-old and a two-year-old that they can't go on a fun ride while Big Brother can. It's definitely not pleasant. There were a few rides that everyone could go on, but not many. It's a video. It's a video. <laughs> Are we moving? We just got on. Oh no, that was the shortest ride ever. No, they're gonna do it again. They're gonna do it again. <laughs> Hold on tight, okay? <laughs> Hold on tight, okay? On the last day was my personal favorite thing, which was medieval times. And this was absolutely awesome. Basically, you get put in a certain colored section to sit. And whatever color that is, that's what night you're supposed to cheer on for the entire night. They serve you quite a feast, and there's no utensils. You're supposed to eat it like they did in medieval times. So while you eat, you watch knights do all sorts of events, including jousting. Then the knights all fight each other until only one left. And if it's the color you got put in, he'll come up to your section and crown a princess. Sadly, our knight died right away, so Ellie didn't get to be a princess. But the entire experience was well worth it. And that was about the extent of our trip. I think my kids were a little young to appreciate just how magical this vacation was. But hopefully Ellie remembers it for the rest of her life. In my eyes, she is truly the treasure which cannot be stolen.